You've heard the stories about unlicensed contractors, but how much protection does a license really give you? Eight on your side investigator Shannon Bacon has discovered that not all licenses are created equal. And Shannon joins us now to talk a little bit more about that. Keith, I've stumbled upon what is essentially a loophole here. And would you know if your contractor actually holds a license? Get this, in Florida, it's perfectly legal to basically rent someone else's. If you own a home, you may eventually need to hire a contractor. But do you really know who you are hiring and what credentials they actually have? For example, two contractors featured in recent Better Stories have never passed a state contracting license exam, but their customers had no idea. I don't think it should be done. Jamestown Kitchens gutted Janet Burkhart's bathroom and didn't come back. She thought owner James Gerard was a licensed contractor. But oh no, he had what's known in the industry as a qualifier, meaning he paid a general contractor to use their license. If you had known that he was parking under someone else's license, would I you would, have hired this company? No, no. Not at all. James switched qualifiers three times during the seven months he was supposed to be working on Janet's bathroom. In another BCB investigation, I found contractor Angel Diaz of Excellent Trades of Florida used a qualifier too. When customers complained of unfinished work, the qualifier dropped him. So I'm on your side to show you how to check out your contractor for yourself. On the state's licensing website, click verify a license, then search by name. Look for the type of license your contractor has. And this is important. If they have a qualifier, that name will be listed here. Now, I have the link you need to get to that page on my story on WFLA.com and in our app. And keep in mind, this is legal, and it isn't always a bad thing, but it could be a red flag, and it's certainly something that's worth investigating. You might want to call that qualifier and make sure that everything's legit with him. Now, what's her. a qualifier supposed to do anyway, and can they be held responsible for the work of the other person that's using their name? Well, technically, that qual qualifier is supposed to monitor all the work. They're supposed to be very involved. And technically, the qualifier is responsible, but I've come across case after case where authorities, they just don't go after that qualifier for one reason or another. Mm -hmm. They part ways, and it just doesn't happen. And that's why you need to know who you're dealing with. Like I said, it's not always a bad thing, but it yeah. can be a red flag. Certainly ought to go to the website at the very least.